Hello my friends, this is Chef Amit Vashist and once again welcome to my channel. Today we are making an Indian dessert which is loved by all. But it is always made with this lovely vegetable which comes in winter, only in winter. This is this red carrot. But I always like to break the rules and this time I'm going to give it a twist with these lovely lovely beetroots. If I love carrots, I also love beetroot. We'll combine these two vegetables and we will make a new, a new new dessert called carrot and beetroot halwa. So let's begin. So here I have about 400 grams of beetroot and I have 500 grams of carrot. Why 500 grams? Because I will cut the carrot and I'll also remove this hard part. I'll just use the red part. So there you go. So once we'll cut the carrot like this, the beetroot to carrot ratio will be same. And we'll cut it roughly. You must be wondering as to why I'm not grating it. Well, I'll show you just now how life can be made so simple. So there you go, all the carrot is cut. Now comes the best part as to how to grate them. For that, I have this lovely blender. I will put all the carrots in this and we'll just give it a blitz. It'll take just 30 seconds to chop these. And here you can also see we've removed this woody part. This is something that has to be discarded. This should not go in the halwa. And even though we are making this in this blender, don't worry about the taste or texture. It's going to be superb. In my times when I used to be a trainee, we had to do all this with hands. But now the life has changed, so we should also change. There you go. We have this lovely carrot ready. Just have a look and it'll be much, much easier to cook and it'll cook faster. I'll just take a bowl and I'll remove all these carrots here. There you go. Easy, easy life. Why bother so much? So there you go. We have this heap of carrot ready to be cooked. But before that, we'll also cut the beetroot and we'll start with the beetroot. I've already peeled the beetroot. So beetroot getting cut into small pieces again, like we did with the carrot. So beetroot is also cut. So here we go. Again, you can have a look. The beetroot looks lovely. That is how we wanted it. Okay, we are ready. So I have this kadhai or pan you call it. This is a big pan because we need bigger surface area to cook one kilo of vegetables. I'll put on the pan and I'll add some ghee. Firstly, we'll add little. And the first thing that goes in the pan is this beetroot. Beetroot hits the pan. We'll make sure we take everything out. Nothing should go to waste. We'll increase the flame and I'll take out a spatula. And we have to make sure we remove all the moisture from the beetroot if not all, most of it. So on a high flame, we'll keep sauteing this beetroot, say for about two minutes. And after that, we'll add the carrots. Carrots obviously have less moisture than these of beetroot. I can smell the sugar caramelizing, and that's exactly how we wanted to cook it, on a high flame so that sugar should start to melt. And at this stage, I'll just bring in my carrots. And we'll continue to saute it for the next two, three minutes. Carrots mixed with this beetroot is looking lovely. And who would have imagined that a carrot halwa can also be like this? So we must use our imagination and do things slightly differently. Now we can see that our halwa is dry. Most of the moisture is gone. And at this stage, we'll just add the milk. So I have this half a liter of milk, which I'm adding now. I can also use full cream milk, but since I'll be using this lovely product, Nestle Milk Mate, I don't need the full cream milk. I'm also trying to avoid adding the koa or the condensed milk that we get in India, because obviously overseas it'll be tough to get koa. So this is a fantastic product that you must have in your kitchen. So milk goes in, half a liter of milk. This is cold milk and I'll mix everything again. Look at this lovely color, oh my God. This is so good. And we'll just wait for the first boil to come. And after that, we'll just put a lid and let it simmer 
for at least next eight to 10 minutes so that these carrots and beetroot becomes really soft. So the first boil has come. At this stage, I'll just reduce the flame once more to a minimal and put a lid and let this halwa simmer for the next five to eight minutes, I guess. Okay, people, eight minutes gone. Let's check our halwa. Wow, this is looking lovely. As I presumed, most of the milk is cooked and we have this lovely, lovely halwa ready. We'll just wait for the next two minutes. We'll, we'll reduce it some more. And after that, we'll add the sugar. Two minutes have also passed by. And now you can see this halwa has become very thick. So at this stage, we'll reduce the flame completely. Just keep it on a bare minimum and we'll start adding the sugar. And again, I have another twist. I'm not adding the white sugar. I don't like that. I love to use brown sugar, crude sugar. And this is going to make this halwa even more tasty. So I've added about 100 grams first. So again, you see, adding this brown sugar has only improved the color further. And this beetroot halwa is turning darker and darker. But I guess 100 grams of sugar is not enough. And I'll also have to put the remaining 50 grams. So total 150 grams of sugar goes in. So this halwa will cook in the sugar for the next four, five minutes. Sugar will obviously melt, give it more moisture. So we'll have to continuously stir it. And this time I'll keep the flame on a high. At this stage, I'll add some cardamom powder to it, just a little bit. And I'll also add some cashews. I have chopped some cashews. I'll add half now and the remaining I'll add towards the end as garnish. So, okay people, now comes the most interesting stage. I'll reduce the flame. I'll add some more ghee, about two tablespoon. That's your choice completely, but we love to add in India. So that's completely your choice. And towards the end, I will just open this magic box, this Nestle condensed milk, and I'll add about three, four tablespoon. This will just change the game completely. And this halwa will become absolutely amazing. Okay, it's time to add the remaining of cashews, a little bit of pistachio, and I'll just give it a light mix. And now it's finally time to put this off and serve this to our family, friends, and of course your loved ones. So there we go, guys. We have this lovely carrot. No. Beetroot. No. We have this lovely carrot and beetroot halwa ready for you. It took us about 30 minutes. Winters are on. Market is flooded with carrots and beetroot. Go buy some and make this amazing recipe. Make sure you like, share and subscribe our channel. I'll see you very soon. Keep cooking, keep enjoying.